It's Juan, Nick, PedalsNFX.com, Los Angeles summer, 258 degrees outside. And then we turn these lights on in here. It's 358 degrees. And Nick, what do you have to say today? So today I was just chilling and I it, it had crossed my mind that we never did a video on this uh, pedal collaboration that I did with Ben uh, Hines. Yes. Ben Hines from yes. Dwarfcraft Devices who sort of acquired, bought, made Devi Ever pedals for a yes. little bit. So uh, at some point along the line, uh, Ben had showed me the Devi Ever Sodomizer. Sodomizer was just some, like, I guess a classic Devi Ever fuzz circuit that was very, like, oversaturated. To me, it sounded like Smashing Pumpkin, Siamese Dream, just like stacks and stacks of fuzz, which I thought was really cool. Um, the original Sodomizer had a chaos switch that could be flipped by hand. And when you turn the chaos switch on, it just turned into this, just like, you know, just fucked upness. Uh, and I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so fast forward, Ben makes me a pedal at some point. He takes a Dwarfcraft Devices Hacks and an, uh, maybe it wasn't the Eau Claire Thunder. I don't think it was. You're right. It wasn't the Eau Claire Thunder. It was something else. Um, I might not even have it. You might have it. You know what? I don't remember exactly what it was. Maybe it was, it could have been like this portion of the Eau Claire Thunder. Oh, right, 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 right. I don't actually remember. So right, don't right, quote me right. on this, but Ben Ben makes me a pedal that's a hacks driving a fucked up distortion fuzz pedal. And we talked about maybe doing a, a short run of those pedals. And I think the price point on it was gonna be like, I don't know, like 300 plus. And I just wasn't comfortable with trying to sell a pedal that had my name on it or whatever for that much money. I was just like, eh, no, I'm good on that. But let's think of something else. So what we did was I said that, uh, you're doing Devi Ever now, that Sodomizer was really cool. Why don't we flip it on its side, add a momentary switch for the chaos, the original chaos switch. I'll do the art for it. And he said, that's a cool idea. Uh, why don't I throw a drone knob in? And I'm like, What's, what do you mean by a drone knob? Uh, which ended up being this little middle guy and <laughs> Typically when you think of a drone you think of just like I don't know meh, or womp, 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 or you know, I don't know droniness something droning over something. This is definitely not a drone sound It's a uh, it's like fucked up bird chirping sound uh, Jehu driving the guitar into the Marshall amp, right? Yes, that's kind of what that vibe was. So anyways, so this is the prototype I that he sent of me so clean So clean I would have right gone there. with that design So you were asking me earlier uh, We were discussing what I could get for selling this it's on a reverb. prototype. This is the prototype. I'd say six hundred and eighty five dollars yeah, and I, I suggested... Reverb would get you the most. I suggested 685, six, 685 pennies, right. $6.85. I could buy, I could sell this and get a burrito down the street. Um, so anyway, so uh, these are really limited. So here was a final product. Um, that's the Super Sodomizer. The, we, we only initially plan on doing one run of 75 of these kind of sea foamy green ones. Uh, I did the art. That's my version of what a super sodomizer would look like. Some fucked up guy holding a soda can. Got it. Uh, one funny thing about this is it doesn't say Devi ever on it. Anywhere. That was a boo-boo. We forgot to put more that logo. More drama. I know, more drama. But actually, I think that's kind of cool because whatever, you know. Uh, so we did a round of 75 of this. Not to be whatever, but it sold out extremely quickly. I think in like 12 hours, Sick. we got rid of them, which was cool. So then a few months later, people were asking about them. So we did a second run that's kind of this light pink. We did 50 of these. So there's 125 total, or yeah, 126 with this guy. Uh, what was I just gonna say? What number was it? This? No. This? Yeah, this? so that's 101. This says 101, but that doesn't matter because that's just what someone wrote on it. This one says, I don't know if that's a 71 or 77. That one does say Debbie Ever Effects on it. Though. Well, I mean, he just wrote it on the bottom. <laughs> I could just like wipe that off if I wanted. When they ran out of these, 
there were limited edition kits that you could like buy the circuits and make them yourself. So I know a few people that actually bought the kit and did that. So maybe there's more that exist in weird houses. So how was and your stuff. percentage on the kits as to the actual pedal? Put to now pedal? that I think about it, I didn't get one fucking penny for the exactly. kits. So that's why I thought of it. I'm shout it, out now. He's more I'm, drama. I'm suing his ass. <laughs> I will own his family. He's, he's gonna after tell, I yeah, find he's out about tell that. you to get in line, <laughs> dude. He he must have made at least. $50 off those circuits when all is said and done. <laughs> so well, I don't know what I'm entitled to, but he fucking owes me. So we have a problem. So anyways, let's see let's what it sounds it. like. So sometimes in life, you just have to say, fuck it. And you got to lace yourself up with these nice, fresh, Why are you going to run two at, a, at one time? Two really? at one time. Dog, I don't fuck with two at one time. I fuck with... Billy Corrigan? Dude, but feel me on these though. These Billy little, hair. these little flat guys. Yo, who makes those? Flat Patch Cable by Rockboard. Oh my God, get one now by Warwick. Yes. No, they are cool though, they're thin. Super tight. Actually, yeah. So all that's right. cool. Let's do this. So these are all, they're all set at the same thing, but what I, I really want you guys to focus on is the subtle tonality differences between these because what has been known to happen is sometimes the thickness of the paint will seep through the actual casing and kind of like coat the uh, the fucking boards. So that could lead to like very subtle nuances and differences in, in fuzz. Gnarly. Do you know what I'm saying? Drone. So when you chill the gain on there, I feel like you can tame it quite a bit. But it sounds, it gets interesting when you, you know, crank the gain. Sure, there's a lot of people out there right now being like, why would you want that? Fair, totally fair. Uh, sort of. <laughs> so. Let's do this stack them, start stacking these. That's dude. what everybody wants to hear, what they sound like when they're all on. Oh my God. Wait a second. Do we have a buffer? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> hey, break out the oh. buffer. We need a buffer. Three soda mine.
wait, 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 wait. Oh, first time ever. 